welcome to the session greeting of the day in the previous classes we are on the discussions of types of casting processes in previously we have seen about types of other casting process than that of the sand casting process we have seen about the die casting process we have seen about the continuous casting centrifugal casting process those things we have seen in continuous with that let me come now we move to the investment casting process it is one of the important type the development during the 20th century they have divided into this type of molds the solid mold are they also called as a black mold investment casting process a plaster mold investment casting mer cast process ceramic shell investment casting so i am dividing this investment casting process into such categories finally we have to we concentrate here in the ceramic shell investment casting this contain a steps this we have to know before going there we should know what happening in the history then we should go there okay so these are the solid mode plaster mode solid mode cast process or other type of some other processes available in accordance with this investment casting i am talking about this solid mold casting first so solid mold casting how they have prepared a say they will have as like i told you the wax design they have made here also the design have been made in the box this is the box this is the box they have made the design and the red color you see it is a central screw through which we have to pour okay so this white color are belong to the wax and then after making this design they are dipping multiple times in the slurry a ceramic slurry they are telling this ceramic slurry is like a paste and when it is kept it dries so what happens the wax has been prepared the design is there when it is heated this wax melt out but it is useful only for preparation of the design and over this design i am dipping this wax inside the ceramic slurry the ceramic material is used as a paste slurry is nothing but a paste those paste i am dipping the wax now the wax is empty wax is cavity design and this wax is dipped inside this slurry and the slurry is pasted over the wax and in the few minutes the wax and the slurry are dried out now the wax contain a 2 mm thickness of slurry after drying again i am dipping inside and i am taking out from the 2 mm it become 2.5 mm of slurry thickness increased and again i am dipping and again i am taking from the 2.5 mm 3.5 mm thickness of slurry increased now this thickness increased thickness act as a pattern we we get the design by the wax and out of the wax we created the slurry and now the work of this wax is over therefore we are heating up heating up wax comes out cavity with the slurry is available now on the slurry the slurry is in the box is it portable and keep now in this i am pouring whatever i need whatever the a more pouring material maybe bronze or maybe whatever it is steel or whatever, whatever you want we are pouring there then the finally after solidifying we can break we are seeing this method so this method we can use which method so this one the wax prepared and this wax is instead of sand we are using the slurry instead of sand dipping we are using the slurry dipping after slurry dipping pouring after pouring solidification after solidification breaking the product is ready this is the method okay so this one so what is the advantage here in this in this solid mold the strong mold we are getting because the slurry is strong we are making 2 to 3 times of dipping process it is 4 to 5 mm thickness increase it is very really strong wax we are taking out so process is very simple we know now only we have did okay wax slurry okay pouring solidification i 
and breaking. So this here itself I have written four five steps. The similar thing will follow later. So disadvantage what are they? Poor permeability. So when we are increasing the thickness of the slurry, the air inclusions and the solidification process takes more time because if we are closing, we are compactly tightly closing. We are using those slurry for a thickness increasing for a strong mold box, but at the same time heat to be dissipated outside. But it is not happening. Gas porous may be formed. So poor permeability will be there. Large consumption of ceramic slurry. So this is what four to five times I am doing. Four times five times dipping. Four to five times dipping happens. So this uh, ceramic slurry it, it also cost increases. Okay, ceramic slurry also cost increases. Lower settling time. Lower setting time. It, it takes more time to slurry itself take more time to cool from the dipping the wet condition to the dry condition. So it takes more time. Obviously, the ceramic slurry is costly. It takes more time when compared to sand. Cost is high, but all methods we are doing, all alloy systems we are doing, that advantage is there. Strong mold will get, okay. So next one, this is okay. Now I am going to the second one, plaster mold investment casting. Now, what, what is the difference between these two? I will tell you here itself. Here we have used the slurry. And here we are, instead of slurry, I am using the plaster. Okay? It is costlier than the tough slurry. Okay? It is also one of the pattern molding material. The wax pattern is placed inside the flask. And the plaster of Paris, Paris is poured over the pattern. So what have we have done here? What we have done? So we have a design. We have a design. This is made up of wax objects. So this is made up of wax, and this is kept in the box. Okay. And uh, around this, this having the design. Okay. Around this, I am pouring the plaster. Around this, I am pouring the plaster. There we have, we have do it in the solid casting process, we have used the slurry. Here instead of slurry we are using the plaster of Paris. Okay. So wax pattern is placed inside the flask and the plaster of Paris is poured over the pattern. The unit is shaken so that the plaster penetrates into the every small details. Every small detail. We are, we are shaking because the pattern is not going to break. Accordingly we have to give vibrations. So in such a way, this poured plaster will roam around, it goes here and there, all the corners it will reach. After the plaster has set a hardened, it is now it is drying, drying. The wax pattern is drained out by heating process. Now the cavity is ready with respect to plaster of Paris cavity. In this day, in the solid casting, it is pattern is cavity is ready with respect to ceramic slurry. Here the pattern is the cavity is ready with respect to plaster of paste. The name itself says we don't need to confuse there. The mold is then cured at warm and removed and moisture is, moisture is all removed and we are poured and the solidification process takes place. It is also very simple. Now what are the advantages here? The process gives a very good surface finish. It gives a very good surface finish. The process also offers a good geometry come Geometrical accuracy as like this one. It is also plaster press we are shaking and all the corners we are reaching. Therefore, it also gives the good accuracy objects, good surface finish, good accuracy. Everything we are also reaching here. Right. So, what are the disadvantages here available for this uh, plaster mold investment casting? Used for plaster cannot be reused. It's very, very, very important. But the sand we can reuse, slurry can we can reuse, but this plaster cannot be reused. So it is a waste. The waste means the high cost. It means high cost. It creates the high cost. Its cooling time is considerably longer. And hence, it is difficult to make large casting. I think you understand this. 
So the cooling time also takes more time, more than slurry. Slurry itself takes time to cool, okay? But uh, this uh, plaster itself takes more time than that of the slurry. Again, we have a setback here, not possible. It can only be used for alloy with lower melting. Again, again the lower high melting we cannot able to because the plaster will melt. Okay, the temperature such as aluminium, copper, magnesium only can be used. Only can be used here. So, so a few such things are available. So, these are the disadvantages of plaster of molds. So, this is a typical plaster investment casting mold. Here we have inside, we have poured the plaster material and this it will be dried out and it can, we can able to take out the product. Okay, next, as of now we have seen about the solid mold simply and plaster of mold simply and mere cast process we have to see now. But this ceramic shell investment casting, you see here this one, this we are going to see about the 8 steps. Okay, this only we have to see. Now we see the mere cast process, this one we have complete, complete and this one mere cast process. You see? In the Mercast process, solidified mercury is used as a pattern material. Mercury we are using here. At room temperature, mercury will be in liquid. It means they are using mercury as a pattern to solidify. Ceramic shell is made around the mercury pattern. Ceramic shell, here also we are using the ceramic slurry, that is okay. But uh, instead of wax, Instead of wax, we have used the mercury pattern. The pattern design itself made up of this mercury. The room temperature is 39, we consider, at 38, 35. The process of preparation of the design should take place at the special condition, less than room temperature. That is a very difficult. Reducing of 1 degree from the current atmospheric condition is very difficult. Then how they will use this mercury pattern? It is not possible. But but by the design it is there. But uh, how? They have invented many types of plaster of Paris, sand molding process, solid molding process, mercury, met, 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 met casting process. So here the name says mercury and casting. That is why the name is mercury cast process. Okay. But it is a failure. Failure means uh, uh, we have to go for special conditions. And the who goes that? It cost. It, it's become costly. By repeatedly applying ceramic slurry over there. Ceramic slurry over there. What happens? A simple idea what they are telling. So, as you showed the flask. As you showed the flask. And we have the design. And the design is made up of mercury. Instead of instead of using the instead of using the wax, we have used the mercury. Right? And then we are pouring. And then we are pouring which one? As usual, ceramic slurry. As usual, we are pouring the ceramic ceramic slurry. And we are solidifying and taking out. But where it should be takes place, that is very important. It should be takes place at, a, at a less than room temperature. So this here it is very difficult. This is not possible. Okay? Therefore, we are not using this. Therefore, we are not using. Okay. After the shell is hardened, the same method, the shell is hardened, the ceramic, ceramic shell is dried five to four to five times, it is dipped back and come and there, it is dried or hardened, mercury is drained out by rising its temperature, followed by pouring, followed by pouring of the molten metal. Okay, I think uh, now we, we are clear. This process are same, but uh, instead of wax, we have used the, we have used the mercury here. What is the advantage then here? The drawbacks, mercast I told you, this is mercast, mercury casting. 
the mercury pattern the mercury pattern is very heavy mercury pattern is very heavy and pattern producing and cell building and having a at a minimum minus 13 and degrees centigrade is very difficult so we are not doing this the development returns we are going to see about the ceramic shell investment cast in the next one now here we are using ceramic the main important one it is very similar to the mercast process however wax is used for making the pattern instead of mercury we are using the wax instead of using the mercury so this is what we have to see the eight steps the manufacturing of turbine charges every steps are there okay how the this are the designs the difficult designs the complex designs we are making here see the wax pattern has been prepared after making the wax pattern the sand the ceramic sand ceramic shell is molded four to five times one and what i'm doing so ceramic dipping one time dipping two time dipping three time dipping. i'm increasing the thickness from 1 mm to 4 mm 3.5 therefore it is heavy and it can able to withstand the hot mold that i'm doing here then what i'm doing the finally pouring so define the products are ready so advantage is what we can do the size of casting can be very very few grams 500 kg from the few to large we can able to do so excel surface finish will get which one in, in which one in this investment casting process excel surface finish for 5 1.5 to 3.2 microns close dimensional tolerance 1 mm to 3 mm 1.5 mm, all are possible here. Typical minimum wall thickness of 1.5 minimum thin to thick, thin to thick also possible. So these are a few advantages are there. The remaining part we will see you in the next classes. We will continue. Summary of this: What we have did in this class is we have given the introduction. Introduction to investment casting. And in this, we have seen some applications and the types. Okay. So, the remaining part of the subject we will see you in the next session. Thank you.